Wow, <clears throat> time for a little model steam engine. And I do apologize for the lack of model steam engine content on my channel just lately. I got involved in a couple of, as you know, a couple of big projects, the Burgess Bandsaw and the Stuart Turner water pump have kind of taken up most of my time for the last few months. So there hasn't been much in the way of model steam engines. But uh, this is an intriguing little one. I spotted this on eBay and it was a buy it now job, but the guy who was selling it made me an offer and I couldn't really refuse it. So I uh, took him up on it. And he wasn't sure what this was or who the manufacturer was. He thought it was probably scratch built and I'm inclined to agree with him. However, there is one particular anomaly about this engine that, that I find interesting. So I, I think it probably is scratch built, <coughs> but we'll stop it when it gets round to there. I recognize the firebox and um, what we'll do is I'll, I'll bring in the other engine so you can see where I think the firebox came from. Now this engine is a Luton Bowman PW201 and I am fairly convinced that the firebox on both of these engines and we'll close in so you can have a closer look is exactly the same thing. The same tab construction, the same method of fixing the, the, the boiler, same tab, absolutely everything is identical. Now, um, there's a slight difference in the paint finish, but then I've repainted the, my, the Luton Bowman uh, firebox. So yes, it's gonna look different from the paint perspective. Let's uh, come back out and I'll, I'll turn both the engines around so you can see it from the other side. Yeah, definitely. It's definitely the same thing. You've got the same uh, bent over tab construction, three holes for ventilation, slightly curved lip here and here, same tab at the back again with a slightly curved lip. That's definitely a Luton Bowman firebox. Now this was used on the PW201 and the PW202. So this is why I think that this particular engine, the new one, is scratch built but with, commercially with some commercially available parts. Now, I think possibly the mounts and the cylinder piston conrod crank, that's all probably scratch built. I think the chimney is scratch built as well. I'm not sure about this little box here that the chimney base, the chimney base could be, could have been folded up. Um, but yeah, it's very, it's very intriguing. I mean, another thing that's interesting about it is the fact that it's got a copper boiler. Now, most commercially made British model steam engines had brass boilers. They were not copper. And this is a really, really nice copper boiler. It's even got a ho single horizontal stay, which again is unusual in a small boiler, low pressure like that. Uh, another thing I think is possibly commercial is the safety valve. That looks very similar to the sort of safety valve that you get on, <coughs> excuse me, sort of safety valve that you get on 16 mil scale SM32 locos, steam locomotives, very very similar. So yeah, it's a, it's a it's an interesting it's, it's a very interesting little engine. Well, as you know, normally I would be stripping it down and polishing it all up and everything, but I'm not going to with this one. I like it the way it is. I could polish the copper up, but the problem with copper is you just got to keep polishing it. Otherwise it just, just tarnishes and the rest of it. So I think I'm just going to, I will clean it up. I'm going to clean the chimney up and I, I, I am going to give it a clean, but I think for the, for the sake of, of the way it is at the moment, I think we'll just, we'll just try running it. We'll give it, we'll give it a go. We'll run it. So, um, I'm not going to use the little burner that came with it. That's a, one of those uses those horrible solid fuel tablets. We're definitely not going to be uh, using that, but uh, we'll use the little tiny Bix burner. Hopefully that will go in there. But yeah, it's a very nice looking engine, very nicely proportioned. The guy says it runs fine on air, so there's no reason, hopefully, that it will not run on steam, but you, you can never tell. So uh, let's get it steamed up. So we've got the gas burner in there. 
and uh, we've got some hot water in the boiler so oh this looks that sounds hopeful Yeah, so I think we might have some, we might have a go, yeah. So what I've actually done is oil up everything and then, you know, fill the boiler. Yes, there we go, look at that, lovely. Very quiet too. Hardly any noise. What a lovely little engine! Just purring. We'll turn the gas down a little bit. That is that's superb. Very nice indeed. Always nice to see lots of steam coming out of the smokestack. Well, I have to say I'm well pleased with this little engine, it's superb. Tweak the gas down a bit more. Regulator on this bottle is quite coarse, unfortunately. So. Oh yes, definitely well pleased with that. Yes, that is a very nice little engine. Well, I must admit, it is nice to see some steam again for a change. It's running on quite low pressure. I barely got the burn. The burn is right down, virtually nothing. And it's running superbly. Yes, that is a lovely little engine. If anyone can enlighten me further as to you know who made this or whether it actually was a commercial product, then please let me know in the comments because, I, like I said, other than the fact that the firebox is very definitely Luton Bowman, um, I I don't really know anything else about it at all. So I just think that's fantastic. You know, like I said, all I did was oil it. Uh, flywheel is running true. It's, it's running very smooth. Absolutely brilliant. And as I said, there's very little, um, uh, almost nothing. You probably can't even see that because it's. Uh, let's turn it up a little bit. Yes, lovely engine. Very, very pleased. So there you go, finally some model steam engine content. On my channel, which is basically all about more steam engines, <laughs> we just haven't seen many, many of them recently. So, yeah, I'm gonna uh, take it apart, clean up the boiler, clean up the chimney. I think that's really uh, oh, on the cylinder. I'll clean that up as well. I think that's really all that needs doing to it. And uh, uh, 
but obviously it's a perfectly functional model steam engine as it is so anyway hope you enjoyed this thanks as always for watching cheers <laughs>